What's going on guys, it's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports and if you've had the pleasure of being in our collection, you've noticed one thing, at least one thing that stands out a lot, is that we do Mustangs and we do a lot of them. Specifically, we do customized Mustangs that are one-off. We have a rumble seat Mustang over my shoulder that's, uh, again, back in the late 60s. We customized to make it a six-seater Mustang that never existed. Over this other shoulder, we have an Iacocca Mustang. Again, Lee Iacocca and the word Mustang go together, but we got together with Lee Iacocca and designed the 2010 model Mustang with his design cues, and we made 50 of them and then sold them off to our clientele. And so today, what I want to show you guys is our Galpin Rocket and talk to you guys a little bit about it and give you details that you might have not known. So the Galpin Rocket was a collaboration between Galpin Ford and Henrik Fisker. Henrik Fisker has designed vehicles like the BMW Z8, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, and the uh, Fisker Karma. And when we got together with Henrik, we gave him a blank slate. We said, take this Mustang and just make it look different, make it look unique. And that's how he came up with the custom front end design, the bumper being completely redesigned from what a regular Mustang looks like, flowing into the hood and the fenders. The body is completely made out of composite. So we have a three inch wider body, uh, front and rear which allows us to uh, do, run a 275 up front and a 325 tire in the back. Uh, we've ran 21 inch custom made wheels for the setup. We upgraded the brakes to a Brembo big brake upgrade, which is a six piston caliper up front and a four piston caliper in the rear. Looking over the hood, you realize that the hood says 725 on it. So that indicates the amount of horsepower the vehicle has. So we reached out to our friends at Whipple and they set us up with their supercharger that they have available for these Mustangs. They are 50 state legal and they pump out an enormous amount of horsepower. So it takes this vehicle from a fun car to an extremely you know, fun car that just puts a smile on your face as soon as you hit that accelerated pedal. Wrapping around here and going into the interior, we wanted to make it different than a regular Mustang. So what we did is we took the entire interior, blew it apart, and wrapped every single panel in Italian leather. The seats are complemented with the Alcantara inserts as well, but everywhere else, the steering wheel, the dashboard, the center console, the door panels, everything has been wrapped in Italian leather. And once you sit in it, it just immerses you in that luxury and in that comfort. And it completely feels different than a regular Mustang, at least in my opinion. Uh, these vehicles were available in automatic and manual. This is an automatic version. And then another thing that you just immediately notice, whether you're looking at the vehicle from the side or from the rear, is the Speedster cover. So the Speedster cover, from at least what I know, is something that I've never seen on a Mustang, and we wanted to incorporate it uh, because of just the design lines, and it just makes the car look like it's running 100 miles per hour, just standing still. Um, after we did the Speedster cover, Again, you can see the rear haunches, again, the rear quarter panel. So we've um, not only pushed it out, but we've accentuated the lines of the vehicle. And I think the, the body design looks very nice for what it is. It is a wide body, but it's not noticeable until you really look at the details, which, uh, which I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff. I don't like the body kits that are very obviously bolted on and slapped on to look too aggressive. Sweeping around to the back, we did a custom rear deck lid. Again, for me, it kind of reminds me of the M3 CSLs. I love this uh, whale tail, as they kind of call it, design, but it accentuates the rear quite nicely. And then flowing down to the bumper, which we did a custom carbon fiber diffuser. We reached out to our friends over at Bassani and we said, hey, we have a V8 motor, it's supercharged, it sounds awesome, so let's make sure it sings. So Bassani made us a custom exhaust for this vehicle and terminating in quad tips that come out of the uh, carbon fiber valence. Suspension wise, we wanted to make sure that this vehicle drove like a GT car. Again, it's not gonna be a track car, so it's not gonna be that aggressively tuned, but we want it to be a comfortable ride while giving you performance. Uh, so uh, the guys over at Ride Tech set up a custom coilover suspension that obviously is adjustable both by height and dampening to give this car the performance that you want on the street. And if you wanna take it on the track, it could perform there as well. And that wraps us up for the video on the Rocket, guys. And the Rocket is just another example of how Galpin is immersed in the car culture and immersed in the customization of vehicles. Because again, we do sell regular Mustangs, but we wanted to create something unique. We are here to think outside the box and to do something a little bit different. And the Rocket is a good example of that because it shows that if you could create it or if we can envision it, we can build it. We took a regular Mustang and truly transformed it to something one of a kind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the like button or comment if you guys have any questions and then we'll see you at the next video.